Okay, I've got two pieces of this um, fur that I got at Goodwill last year. Uh, um, they were blue tagged, but everything was a dollar a, sh a cut or a dollar a piece of fabric when I got it. Um, these pieces are both exactly the same. Um, so I went through them, and this one seems to have the nicest uh, edge to it. So I'm going to cut this one. So I'm going to use um, the same, since it looks so cute on the um, first jacket, I'm going to use the same uh, width of fur. This is a two inch strip of fur, so I'm going to cut two inches. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. It's a, um, it's a chalk marker. Uh, you put a piece of chalk in there and um, it'll mark, mark it's for quilters. Um, but th you can get them at any of the um, craft shows or stores if you need a, um, or you can just use a, a marker or a washable marker or something so that you don't um, uh, ruin your fabric. Okay, so I'm going to give myself a two inch strip of this wolf uh, fur. I'm going to try and line it up as best I can. And I'm going to try and get a two inch strip going. So I'm going to have to do it in, in pieces, I guess, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get a, a smooth cut. Okay, so let's give it a try and see what happens. Okay, so you see that chalk mark? Alright, so. Um, Last time I cut fur, my friend suggested that I cut right under the nap and not cut the fur off itself, and you'll save a lot of getting a mess everywhere. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to just try and cut directly under the the um, the nap and see if I can stop from getting fur everywhere. See how I did. Oh, that did work a lot nicer. I don't have near the uh, residue, but of course it's not as plush as that other piece of uh, fur that I cut last time. But yeah, that works really good. So get right under the nap and um, cut your strips. So two inches, two inches. Let me finish this one off. Okay, here we go. Right under the nap. Okay. So there we go. That's going to be um, uh, the um, fur on the sleeves and on the um, bottom of the jacket. Let me see how I like that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I like that or at all. Okay. Um, I'm going to sew it this way and then up so that I don't have that. See how you have that uh, little bit of uh, uh, a knit show? If I sew it like this, it'll cover up the um, the actual. Um, yeah, I think I'll like that better. Okay, I'm going to cut some more strips, but because I'm going to sew it that way and not just directly like this, like I did on the um, on this one, I uh, every all the nap was going um, sideways, whereas this is up and down. If I went sideways, hmm. Now I'm deciding if I want to go sideways or not. Okay, well I'm not going to. I'm going to go this way. But um, I'm going to, um, since I'm going up and down instead of sideways, I'm going to go with a bigger, I'm going to go with a wider strip. I'm going to go to a three inch strip and I think that'll uh, uh, look better. Anyway, I'm going to um, cut my strips and then I'll come back and we'll start getting the sleeves put together. Okay, I compromised. Um, instead of cutting two inch strips, I cut um, two and a half inch strips, and I think that's about um, right. 
Um, so I, I wanted to be sure before I did the rest of the video. So I sewed um, one of the fur pieces on one of the arms, and I'll do it on the other one to show you what I did. So to test it, to see if it looked good, I got Kelsey out, and I uh, folded up the fur like I did on the other one. And um, I wanted to test it out before I decided if I wanted to use this fur at all. So um, I just... Um, put a couple pins in it just to see if I would like it or not. And then I just tried it on Kelsey's arm to see what it would look like. And I think it's going to be okay. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not. But um that's what the um that's what the sleeve is going to look like. Of course, it'll be once I get the, it'll be a little more fluffy around the fur part once everything gets said and done. But uh, that's where we're at so far. Okay, so let me take this back apart. Okay, so here's what I did. I just took um, one strip of it and um, on uh, and I just sewed across, and that's where I'm at. I went a little further than I needed to because I wasn't sure because this arm has a little bow in it and I cut the fur straight across so I wasn't sure how I was going to um, put those together. So um, uh, anyway, that's where we're at right now. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my strip of fur and I'm going to take um, sleeve number two. And I'm going to do the same thing I just did to that one there. So I'm going to, um, this is my right side, right side, and see how the fur goes down? I want that to be that way on here too. So I'm going to put right sides to right sides so that when I open that up, that's what that's going to look like. So I gave myself some extra fur too because I wasn't sure how it was going to sew on. So um, let me pin this. Okay, I'm just going to start sewing that. So I'm going to just cut this off right here. And it does help when you get underneath that nap so you don't get a lot of fur everywhere. It would have been nice if I knew that when I did the um, the mink, because this, this fur isn't anywhere near as um, uh, thick as the mink was, and this uh, is still shedding a little bit, but nothing compared to that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put, um, this is uh, wrong side, this is right side, and my fur is heading down, so I'm going to sew this together right now. A quarter inch seam. I'm going to take my pins out and I'm just going to lay this down without pulling it, but I'm going to give it plenty of room. Don't worry about those hanging edges. We'll fix those when we get to the actual um, when we get to the point where we're going to sew them up together like that, and that'll take care of that. Okay, so now um, where are we in the instructions? We've got um, our jacket going. We just finished our sleeves, and we are at the point where we are going to pin sleeves to armhole edges. It says matching notches, but we didn't um, do any notching, so um, remember what I told you about uh, which one's higher in the back goes to the back.
So let's put these together and see which one's higher. Okay, so this is my, um, uh, for the back, um, uh, this would be my um, left sleeve. Okay, so we're going to match right sides to right sides. If you don't get them right, don't worry. Just put the notches in there so um, you'll know that um, the high side goes to the back because that is the, is that the high side? Yes, that's the high side, so high side goes to the back. So that's the right side, this is the wrong side. Right sides to right sides, this is the back, this goes here. Okay. Just cut your notches. If, if you're confused by that, um, by that. So the one with the uh, double notches uh, goes to the back. So right side, right side, right side. Okay. So um, when I did this last time, the sleeves fit in here perfectly. So let me um, go from this side and I'm just going to start pinning. Remember when I told you about that being a little off? See, this is the point where we're going to put our seam there and you're never going to tell the difference that it wasn't perfect when we sewed it. Open your shoulder seam. Put a couple pins in it. And we just pinned our um, sleeve to our garment. And that's um, what it's going to look like uh, when we finish sewing it. Okay, so we're going to sew that seam in. I sew it. Um, this way so that I can make sure my seams stay open. But either either way, it's whatever is your easiest for you. Okay, um I'll get back to you.